If you're thinking of moving to Laurel, Maryland, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Amy Brown. I'm your favorite Maryland realtor. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps my self-esteem. So let's dive in to the pros and cons of Laurel, Maryland. Number one is the quaint historic downtown Laurel. They have so many great shops, restaurants. There's a park, Riverfront Park. There's also the Laurel Museum that gives you the history of Laurel. So if you're in this downtown area, be sure to stop in the Laurel Museum for a visit. Number two, if you're into thrift stores like I am, be sure to come visit Laurel. It has so many great options. I'm just gonna mention a few. The Second Avenue Thrift Store, the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store are some great options. Another pro of living in Laurel, Maryland are the parks and the green spaces. Uh, Riverfront Park is a 30 acre park right along the Patuxent River. It's a great place to stroll after you've had a great dinner in downtown Laurel. Laurel is great for commuting. Laurel is convenient to both DC and Baltimore, which are the major job markets. The Mark train station that you see behind me is not only beautiful, it's actually a very busy Mark station with commuters going in to DC and Baltimore. Another benefit to this area is it's 20 minutes to BWI. Another pro to living in Laurel are the great restaurants. There are so many unique non-chain restaurants if you like that. There's a restaurant called the Mad Cow Grill and also Pasta Plus, which is wonderful Italian food. If you do end up visiting the Mad Cow Grill, consider getting the Breaking Bad Burger and also the Truffle Mac and Cheese. They're excellent. Laurel is also home to the Laurel Park, which is horse racing, which some people enjoy. And lastly, the diversity of homes that you can purchase in Laurel. You have historic homes in this downtown historic area, and you also have a lot of newer construction if you like that. I'm gonna link two of my videos regarding Emerson, which is a large community in Laurel, and also Stone Lake in Laurel, which are newer construction. As a bonus for still being with me on this video, here is Bonus Pro. If you're in Laurel and you want a good donut, look over my shoulder. This is a little hole in the wall that has amazing donuts. You'll thank me later. I'm standing in front of the Laurel Historical Museum. It's a great place to pop in and learn about the history of Laurel if you have some time. And just over to my right, I'm looking at the Laurel Municipal Pool and also the Riverfront Park. And I'm gonna go over the cons of living in Laurel. There aren't too many, it's a short list. Laurel is comprised of four different counties. So when a buyer tells me they wanna look in Laurel, it can be a bit confusing for them because there are differences in the school districts and also differences in the taxes. Number two, the lack of parking in historic Laurel. Sometimes on the weeknights and during the holidays, it can be really difficult to get a spot right along the main strip. And lastly, the lack of nightlife. I don't personally need nightlife, but if you are a person that needs nightlife, Laurel probably isn't gonna do it for you. You're gonna need to either go to the south in DC or head north to Baltimore. Thank you for watching.